is there a is there a sort of recommended way or common way that that Acton Academies provide support to parents, or is that sort of up to each operator? It's up to each operator. Okay. I look at. I knew one of the things that would be different about my Acton is the fact that we live in Las Vegas, and there is a lack of community somewhat here. Mm -hmm meaning support for the families. Mm. Uh, a lot of people move here away from their own family. And mm. so they don't have that family support structure that many people have. I moved here from the Midwest and I always missed that part of being able to, you know, your kids go to school with the same kids their whole life. In Las Vegas, they don't. Yeah, and okay. rarely do they ever do. Um, rarely will they even see this, have the same friend year after year mm. because they're changing all of the time. So parents don't have that family support. So I always knew whatever I brought here, I wanted to make sure that parents felt supported. Mm -hmm. And especially because they're learning and they want something different for their child. And so we want to make sure that they feel supported in doing something different for their child and that there's a community for them. And so for me, it was important to always have great dialogue and discussion with the parent. To me, that was my job. Mm -hmm. My job mm -hmm. was to guide parents. Right on. Yeah. Guides parents is it, or the guide's job is to to guide the learners, and so that was something that was really important to me. And I've started to branch out and speak to a couple other schools about that because I think it's the one area that we do well is is speaking with our parents not always spoon feeding that's right, right. different <laughs> we don't spoon feed in much of the same way we don't spoon feed your children not spoon feeding however supporting you mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that we will do and so those moments that are difficult i always know i might get a parent that shows up on my doorstep for us to speak with me and says, I'm really having a hard time. Okay, let's talk about it. Right. You know, there there is no right or wrong here. Like we're all we're all figuring things out as we go. So I wanted my role with the parents is maybe more significant than other people's role in other schools, but that was a value for me mm -hmm. that I wanted to bring to the table so that we could have a community of um you know, we all kind of want this journey where we're not in charge and our children learn to make great decisions without following everybody else just because yeah. they're making their decisions. So the parents really want to embrace and harness this. And often they have their own journey, yeah. you know, yeah. as parents. And so I look at my role is to identify that alongside them. Mm -hmm. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs, so that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host. Don Berg.